Hello and welcome to a demonstration on the Casio FX 9750G3 calculator. In this demonstration, we shall explore the linear regression model and what the Casio calculator offers. First, we shall need to enter in a bivariate data set. So suppose we have uh, for X values 2, 1, 3, and 4, and they are paired up with these Y values 7, 3, 8, and 10 respectively. So to enter the data, we're going to do the following. We're going to go into the stat menu off the main menu icon, which is just option two. And then we are going to go ahead and start entering in our data. So list one is going to have the X coordinates and list two will have the Y coordinates. And after we enter in each data value, we'll hit the EXE button. Now, while this is going on, I'm gonna separate these two so that you can see the keys as well as the screen. So we've entered in the X values, we hit the right, we hit the keypad here to the right and we start entering in the respective Y values. Okay. Now at the bottom of the screen, uh, there are, are a lot of options here. And we're gonna choose the calc option for calculate. So we'll go ahead and hit F2. And that brings us to the one var, two var, and reg commands. The one var computes common statistical measures for one list. The two var option computes common statistical measures for two lists. Uh, these measures usually include the mean, the standard deviation, the median, uh, the uh, five number summary. Uh, for the two var option, this is where you also get the uh, covariance and uh, other measures related to that. But in this demonstration, we're going to use the REG command, the reg command. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit F3. And when we hit F3, that brings us to this menu down here that has uh, X. We have median, we have x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth, and there are more options if you hit F6. We want the x option. So we're going to hit F1. And when we do that, we have these two options coming up. Ax plus b uh, is the algebra way of writing the equation of a line. And a plus bx is the statistician's way of writing the equation of a line. And we're going to employ the AX plus B option, as that is the more popular one. So we'll hit F1. And when we hit F1, we have this screen come up. Scroll up here a little bit. So our uh, Lin Reg option here, uh, A and B are provided here. Those are the coefficients listed here. So we have A as the slope and B as the y-intercept. R is Pearson's correlation coefficient. This measures the strength and direction of a linear relationship. The R squared value here is the coefficient of determination. And this describes how much of the variation in the data is explained by the model. So the closer that R squared is to one, the uh, more variation the model explains. And when it's perfectly one, it means that the model fits the data exactly. The MSE, uh, this is the mean square error, and this is usually something reserved for uh, a more statistical analysis uh, when performing linear regression. So we'll uh, reserve that for a more statistical uh, conversation. So if you wish to see a plot of the data and the regression line, we may proceed as follows. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to exit out of here. We're gonna exit out of here, out of the list. We're gonna exit out of the regression commands. We're gonna exit out of the uh, math and go to 
graph and hit F1 and F1 again. And this gives us a scatter plot of our four data values. Okay, so to get the regression line plotted on top of this, we're going to go to the calc menu. So we're going to hit F1, and then we're going to hit F2 for the X, and we're going to choose AX plus B again. It gives us this information, and then we hit F6 to get the line on top of the data. So here we can see the regression line. And here we can see the data values. And this is how you can perform linear regression and plotting the information using the Casio calculator.